on your behavior, it's on your heart, it's on your DNA. Like, how do you, how do you deal with all that? Good evening. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, and little boys and girls that I saw running around a few minutes. My name is Dr. Valeta Jenkins Monroe, and I'm actually the proud president of the San Francisco chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. We are so delighted that you joined us, and thank you for coming. Chartered in 1950, we have served the African American community in San Francisco and the African diaspora for over 67 years through our transformational programs. With more than 40 active and alumni members, we partner with uh, community organizations, primarily in the Bayview Hunters Point neighborhood, to further enrich their lives of the underserved. Tonight, we partner with Center for Youth Wellness Community Advisory uh, Council, better known as CAC, to preview a film followed by a discussion about physical and mental health and resiliency. We want to take the time to better understand how our children, adolescents, and families are thriving in today's world despite their many challenges they face. Critical in our understanding is to first acknowledge children's exposure to multiple traumatic events, which are considered invasive, interpersonal, and often disrupts their developmental and their formation of self. By definition, complex trauma is a variety of traumatic events that can involve physical and sexual abuse, domestic and community violence, separation from family members, and re-victimization by others. Across the lifespan, complex trauma is linked to a wide range of problems, including addiction, chronic physical conditions, depression and anxiety, self-harming behavior, and other psychological disorders. Though tonight, we want to continue the, a discussion that we hope are, is taking place all across the world, certainly within the United States. We want to foster positive relationships and t discuss resiliency as a response to um, the increasing capacity to deal with everyday uh, trauma. Thanks to all of you for your willingness to engage in ways to think about our stressors and trauma in our lives more from a strength-based perspective rather than looking at stressors from previously deficit models. Again, enjoy the show. Thank you. <laughs> 